How are you guys? This is Tim with Photofy. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Lens Turbo 2. The thing that I use to make my uh, full frame lenses look like a full frame on my APS-C size body. And it looks just like this. So right now you're looking at the camera uh, through my 24mm 1.4 f1.4 lens at 1.4 with the Lens Turbo on it. So the field of view, it's really hard looking at the screen. And now with the lens turbo off, my field of view, yay big now, versus on the, with the lens turbo on, about yay, yay wide or so. Um, one nice thing about the lens turbo is that it does give me a stop, roughly about a stop, three quarters of a stop, more light. Because it takes the larger image circle of the full frame lens and compresses it down to the size of the APS-C size sensor. Therefore, just like with a magnifying glass, how you magnify the sun and make it more powerful by making it in a smaller area, this does the same thing. This lens turbo cost me about $120 or so um, because it has no electronics through it whatsoever. This is my normal adapter. This is a Fotasi EOS to NEX with no glass in the middle. So I got about $10 or $20. It does have a little tripod mount, which I like. I wish the lens turbo had this, but it does not. Um, this thing is really solid. It gets the job done, but it does apply the crop factor to the lens. So with the crop factor applied to the lens, it makes this 24-1-4, essentially a 36-1-8 or so, give or take. Yeah, 1-8. I don't know the half increments of stops. I only know the, th in th in the third increments because that's how everyone sets them up. Um, but that's kind of what it is. Also, I don't get the extra stop of light because the image circle is much larger on my sensor. Anyways, now let's take a look how it is with that on there. And now with the lens turbo off. My field of view, yay big now, versus on the, with the lens turbo on, much bigger. Uh, the background looks relatively the same, obviously the tighter, so this is an equivalent look of 36 millimeters by f1.8. Uh, this still looks very nice. I actually like this look a lot um, because it doesn't distort the face as much. I can get much closer to the face, much closer to the face, without it being distorted, and that is very useful. So this is how the lens turbo looks. So the guy here, it does have glass in the middle, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, it's kind of interesting. It attaches to the uh, body by a, a turn. So you stick it on and then you turn. It's kind of strange. But that's that's something cool with it. Uh, it works great. I like it a lot. It gives me a different option. You know, it gives me with these two little lenses, I have 85 and a 24, and it gives me the option of shooting them at 85 and 24, or shooting them with the crop factor applied and shooting them at 36 and 130. So in a, in a sense, I have a 24, a 36, and a 85 and a 130 or 135, close enough. Uh, the aperture equivalency does go down, but as far as for field of view, angle of view, that is the same. Um, so that is something I really like about it. It cost me 120 bucks. No electronics. Great little guy. If you have an APS-C size uh, camera, I would highly, highly suggest uh, one of these, especially if you don't need the, the electronics. Um, but if you don't want the electronics, go for something much more expensive. That's fine too. Just another piece of cheap gear that does a really good job. B-roll! This is Tim with Photified with the Lens Turbo. Have a good one. See you later.